Well, welcome everyone. This is Nicole and Liz. We're excited to talk to you all in our audience about being uh, or going to a med spa for the first time. That first experience, right? Yeah. It's, it's unique. You never forget it because you're walking into a new world of aesthetics. It's a, the next level, if you will. And when people come in or clients come in and they meet with you or the other nurses, they tend to I feel like I, 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 set, I started kind of funky, too, so let's start over. Okay. Leave that recording. And then you can move that so you're not going right. to fall over that. <laughs> exactly. That's right. <laughs> You'll be on the floor. I mean, my watch on the table. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, I think this will be better now. Okay. Hey, everyone. We are excited for this episode. It's going to be about your first experience at a med spa. We get many new clients every week, and that first experience we never forget. If you heard from our last episode, I talked a little bit about my first time going to a med spa, and it wasn't great at all, but it did set a fire under my belly to start something different. So we, I know that the nurses get a lot of the same objections or questions or concerns, if you will. So Nurse Liz is here. She's going to answer these questions because you know you get these all the time, right? Oh, yeah. Yep, I get yeah, the same it's questions. It's common yep. because, you know, you don't know what you don't know or you have uh, misinformation or misnomer about what the experience should be or could be. And we, we want to clarify that, especially for those who are thinking about coming to a med spa, whether hopefully it's ours, but if you're in another state, that's your only excuse. <laughs> and then you realize you're coming to the Botox bar. But hey, we have people fly in from all over, actually. Yes, we so do. So if you're ever out of state, you just get a flight here. We'll take good care of you. Yes. But anyways, but let's go into some of the most common questions you get as um, new clients come in, coming to new med spa. And the first thing, because, you know, we're the Botox bar. Yes. So let's talk about Botox first. Okay. So the first thing I want to ask is, who is Botox for? Like, who is the perfect client for that? I don't believe there's anybody that it's not for. Sure. To be honest, it's all about timing. So, uh -huh. but even younger, younger, the younger generation can use Botox for certain things, like TMJ or mm -hmm. sweating. Oh, excessive, excessive sweating. sweating. Yes, under the armpits. Yeah, yep. or just a lip flip or, yeah. you know, any of the things. So, you know, anybody is game for Botox. Botox is just a muscle relaxant that is going to help you to look more awake, more yeah. rested. Softens your and look. And softens your look. Yeah. So, you know, they, I would say people in their 30s start coming. That's mm -hmm. when they start to notice that, well, you know, 24, at 24 we stop building collagen and and all the things and you start keep, losing your back pads yeah you yeah so then your cheeks go down and you start to sag your your face starts to fall yes. if you will yeah yeah okay. your skin doesn't have anything to hold on to when that starts to happen but at 24 we really start it's downhill from that okay. age even though that sounds so young it is young oh sure. and so in your 30s you really start to notice oh my gosh i'm getting these lines i'm getting you know, the 11s, I'm starting to find lines here, I'm getting crow's feet. So you're more apt to start looking into what am I going to do? I don't want to, I don't want to look tired. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So you're, so really anyone that's really thinking about Botox is a potential candidate. So yes. they come in, they make, they make a Botox appointment. The reality is you could have a consult. Um, you don't have to have a separate one. You'll no. consult with them I'll before consult. you inject them. Yeah, anyway, exactly. Right? They're going to know exactly how, if they if they're a candidate. They're going to know how many units I need. They need. Yeah. They're going to know what the cost is, where I'm going to place it. They will get all of that information. Yeah. But if they're not sure if they want Botox, if they just want to come in and get those answers so that they can go home and think about things. They can come in for a consult, and yes. I will do all of those same things. We yes. just won't inject. Right, exactly, exactly. And when they, you know, I think when you're coming to a med spa for the first time, you think, well, I just want to do a little bit. So let's talk about dosing. Yes. So what is, how, how much Botox does the average person need, or what do you suggest? Or well, what is the, the FDA approved yeah. dosing and Allergan's dosing is 64 units from the eyes up. Okay. So gotcha. obviously you can do other areas on your face, and so then you would use more. So crow's feet and the, right. your forehead and all around 64 units. Is, okay. the, is the dosing. Okay. However, 
We still treat you as an individual because everybody's muscles are different, everybody's different. So you might need Botox differently than that. And sure. that's what you'll find out when you see one of us. Okay. Is we're not just going to put the standard amount in your face. We're gonna we're gonna have you move your muscles, we're gonna see how strong they yeah. are, we're gonna see how large they are and what we think. And we will go from there. And we tweak it along along yeah. the way. Right? Yeah, exactly. you know, things change. Like you're getting Botox and all of a sudden, another area starts to move that wasn't moving. It's because your mu our bodies are smart. The muscles are smart. They're trying to take over. And so we're always moving ah, things around. And compensating. They're compensating for the other muscles that are not able to move. Very fascinating. So mm -hmm. then we can fix that. We yeah. just move the Botox around. It's no yep. big deal. But it's what you find out when you come sure. in. And so each time you come in, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to okay. clean your skin. Have you move your muscles, and we're going to mark your muscles, and then we'll see how much you need. We'll talk about it and well, go from there. And how much you metabolize. Like the gals and guys that work out a lot, yes. they tend to, they tend to we call it, burn through it a little yes. bit more, right? Well, if you're nice and thin and you are very, um, let's just say, efficient with burning off your foods yep. and your medications, mm -hmm. well, your Botox isn't going to be any different. You're going to right. burn that faster, too. That, you'll and metabolize I always it. say I'd rather be thin and burn things fast and pay money yeah, than, to, be, than yeah. to struggle and carry weight and, you know, hold on to my Botox. I'd rather get the Botox sooner. <laughs> yeah, right. Get it more and often. be able to eat and drink and do whatever I want without <laughs> any weight gain. Trust me, that's what I would love. Right, right. <laughs> So when so when people come in, I think they you know their misnomer we hear this a lot is how long it takes for it to set in, you know. It's four to fourteen days. Yeah, is the normal is the average person will have their Botox set in. If your Botox isn't working within fourteen days, you probably need to come back. Yep, and find out what's going on. Yeah, you either have an, a tolerance built up to it. Or something went wrong. We can look at that. We'll we have lot, lot numbers number. for, the, yep. for the vials. We know the dates. We can see if other yep. people are having the same issue. We don't have those problems very often, but they do happen. Yep, they do happen. And it's nobody's fault. It's just something happened in that batch of Botox. Right. And we only know or during that. during shipping. Yeah. Because Botox needs to be frozen. Yes, it does. So if yep. they... If and they, ours, we make sure, is frozen when we receive it. Yep. We don't know how it was taken care of before it rece is here, but Allergan is a pharmacist, I mean, oh, pharmacy yeah. company. They're not going to do things right. wrong. We rarely so, have an issue. It's it, rare. Yeah. But if it's if you're still moving quite a bit after 14 days, yeah. definitely make your appointment to come back. Yeah, but come I think, back and let us check it out. But I think the biggest thing is the underdosing that's requested by new clients. Yes, a lot of times what happens, Nicole, to be honest with you, is the, pay, the client will come in and they're new at Botox and then they go, I just want to do baby Botox or light Botox and see how it goes. But the problem with that is then the Botox wears off fast mm -hmm. and they, they still have movement and so they think the Botox isn't working. But if, if the Botox is put in correctly and the right dosing, it will be the way that it's supposed to be. So yep. if you trust the injectionist to tell you what you need, and yeah. if you're willing go to with the go expert. with it, go with the expert. You're not going to go to a doctor and ask for a prescription for an infection, for antibiotics, and then go, no, I only want half the dose. Yeah, You're just not going to do that because you know you're not going to get your, your, your infection's not going to get cured, yeah. right? It's not, you're yeah. not, not going to take get, care of it. It's yeah. not going to take care of it. You don't have a high enough dose. Mm -hmm. it, and Botox is a drug, and it's the same thing. Yep, and, and so, so 64 units is the FDA it is. approval for the prescription right. for Botox. Yes, I get 72 is. units. I get more than that. I know well, many I have people clients that. that come in and get 24, 26 units in their neck. In for their the post yeah, yeah, the, the placebo bands. bands. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, you can get 20-some down here. You can, you can get 10 units here. You can get different amounts. And so you can get in your jaw. You can get in your masseter muscle. 
So if you're doing all of that too, you can get well into the hundreds. Yeah, of mm -hmm. Botox. Of in Botox. one sitting. In she, one sitting. Because even the uh, um, excessive sweating, that's what, 50 units per armpit? Yes. Yeah, yes. So it lasts up to six months. So. Right, right. But Botox lasts up to about 90 days is a, is really, the like once a The average client is 30, yep, yeah. is, is um, 90 days. Yeah. Three months. Yep, three months. If you, if you get more time than that, you're just a lucky person because yeah. honestly, Two and a half, three months is about it. Yeah, that's about it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, so that, and that was just going to say like how often be treated, but that really just answers that question, you know, for Botox. But then the question that always ends up is, so, okay, so you do filler. That's the next step. And really turning back the clock and giving that refreshed, youthful look. Yes. When do you do filler? Do you do Botox and filler at the same time? Like, tell me yes. a little bit about when you do the filler. Yep, you can do Botox and filler on the same visit. You okay. Can. They're, they're totally different. Filler is just replacing volume that's been lost. We lose bone and yeah. we lose volume. Yep. And so when you think about that, your skin just doesn't have anything to hold on to. It yeah. starts to sag. Well, that's how you get like the jowls. People think, yes. oh, I got, I need to put filler around my jowls. It's like, no, no, you need the cheeks to yes. lift we your face. Yes, we always want to start with the mid face. Yes. And then after we do the mid face, we can move around. Then we can tweak wherever yes. around the lips. Yes. And then like a lot of people don't have an upper lip. I see it all the time. Right. Or they have a lot really gummy lip. Well, as we age too, our upper lip will go under. Yeah. So it's, in, it's under, they have a lip, it's just behind yeah. underneath. So we got to bring that lip back forward. It's hard so to do. So men and women both can get that done but right. yeah it's yeah. hard to do so if you let it go so far it's really hard to get it back so make sure that you don't allow that to happen if you don't like that look yes yes yeah. exactly mm -hmm. and lips you know that they last almost a year nine months to a year depending, right, on, which depending type. on which type so it's not like you're coming in every quarter for that no. and cheeks is like two years yes it is so and i always suggest they don't wait till they you know don't inflate deflate inflate right. deflate don't play that game so once you get the cheeks filled up just make sure you're each year you come in and get a little something to yes. keep them because you don't want to fill them and then wait two years when they're deflated and then come back and refill them and then wait two years i mean yeah yeah well and for all you that have never been to a med spa or you're just starting to go i'd say and liz i'm curious about your response to the statement is that you know listen to the expert of course you know liz has been you know preaching that for a long time and you know when they when you go in it's like if you really want to turn back the clock let like look at the cheek filler look at lips yes. look at all of it um you know the jaw line potentially because it will turn back the clock. It is not going to make you look like like you're you've had been botched, if you will. No, you're going to look natural. And so when you're when you're new, you're coming in. You're like, oh gosh, I didn't sign up for all this. Listen, first of all, we're going to numb you. So that's the difference in Botox. And we can numb and Botox if you request it, but it's rare that happens. But for filler, we numb you. Right. So we it's numb make you, it and we use ice. And there's numbing medicine or there's lidocaine in each syringe of filler yes so you're going so it gets to, better and better it gets as it better goes. and better yeah and the thing is is if you want to do it do it do it right yep. right do it right don't, don't do go it chintzy no. that's my that's yeah. really wrong so if, and that. if that means that you have to wait a little bit and you just need to come in and get a plan so that you can get the plan in place because i know everybody's got their own budget Yep. And your budget's different than mine. You might not be able to afford to do everything right now. Yeah. So we do have different um, ways to pay for things. We got sharing. We got care credit. But mm -hmm. if you just need a plan where you can go home and save for yeah. it, to yeah, not, put not away or what, plan it into yep. your budget for the mm -hmm. next month or whatever, that's fine. We can go over that with you, give you a consult, tell you what we think you're going to need, give you yeah. an estimated cost. And then you have something to work with. And it's it can be such a cool transformation. Yes. When you get the Botox and the filler. And then let's talk about the third layer, the cherry on top. Really good skincare. Yes. I'm telling you, we yep. have, I feel like we have the best skincare here. Yeah. Um, we do. It will change. It. I've watched it change people's skin. Yep. I've watched mm -hmm. it change our employees' skin. I know. And we are fortunate enough that we have, we're surrounded by good skincare. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, we're very fortunate because yes. we know 
all well, the things you that wanna, you need to know. Well, you got to protect your investment. You say it all yes. the time. It's like, okay, you're going to get Botox and filler. That's not going to change your skin. No. You, you need have a good to, cleanser and a good moisturizer yes. and eye cream and serums. And and let's just back up for one I, one little bit is now we have Skin Vive. Yes, we which do. Which is a Juvederm product that, that is hydrating. a hydration. It's like micro droplets of yep. a hyaluronic acid, correct? Yep. And it gets, yep, it's in the dermis, injected into the dermis, and it, it actually thickens the tissue because it brings in the water. Mm -hmm. It really Ooh, hydrates whoa. and your skin. Oh, it makes your skin it's just so glow. awesome. I've had people come up to me like, you look amazing. I'm like, yeah, yeah I got the skin beef, plus yeah. I use good skin care. And the CO2 mask. Oh, that CO2 the other mask, thing. that's the other one. You can combine that skin deep with that CO2 mask. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Especially after you so, get filler, you want that CO2 mask. Yes, exactly. So let's just talk about this for a minute. So yeah. you know there's there's really four levels of ways to take care of ourselves, our okay. face and our, and, and our skin. So the first thing is Botox is going to relax the muscles so they can't pull on the skin to damage it. Okay. Okay, that's your first thing. Second thing is we lose bone and we lose Volume. The volume so the yeah. fillers that you put into yep. your skin Hyaluron will they're just hyaluronic yeah, acid they're, they're, all they're just there. cross match differently so yep. they all have a different purpose we know which ones go where and we can explain that at your visit yeah but um that gives you back some of the volume that gets lost with time mm -hmm. as we age and then the third thing is good skin care the canvas the actual skin you have to take care of your skin yeah you know botox doesn't do anything for skin Filler don't do anything for skin. Nope. Skin care does something for skin, right? Yes. And then you've got your treatments. You've got the hyaluronic acid that gets put in with Skin Vive into yep. the dermis. You've got the CO2 mask. And which puts CO2. Which, which, CO, which, which works like a lung. I mean, when we're, when we're breathing, CO2, oxygen, CO2, oxygen. So we're taking in oxygen, exhaling CO2. Mm -hmm. And when you put CO2 on your face, it makes your body send oxygen. That's how it works. So it repairs all and the it repairs little, everything. Like lines and imperfections and, and discolorations heals. and things. It's unbelievable. So then you I got so those are treatments. Yep. Can, they could be called the the um, skin vive is an injectable sure. treatment, and then the um, CO two mask is actually a, a mask. It's a it's gel, like a that, gel gets, mask. Yeah, that gets yeah. put on, and then you got all your good skincare before that too. Mm -hmm. But then you've got Morpheus 8, Eight. Yep. which is going to help build collagen. Yep. It's going to help with uh, skin texture. It's going to help with um, evening out your skin tone and uh, making you look brighter yep. and repairing scars. Like oh. if you have and stretch marks and stretch marks and things you can use it on the body you can use it on you the face you did the back of my legs like yeah. i started getting kind of cheesy looking back yeah, of my legs. Like i, I saw my cellulite. picture at the when we were down in fort myers and i'm like oh my gosh those are not my legs that is not me i remember a time when you didn't have any cellulite i know and i said nikki how don't you have any cellulite and you said i don't know i just don't have any yep and, and then, then all older. of a sudden <laughs> she had some <laughs> I was in the last like, decade. Welcome to the world. Yeah, I went from 40 to 50, and now I got cellulite, but now I don't because I got Morpheus 8 done. Yeah. And so it just really tightens that all up. Yeah. And, oh, I Morpheus love Morpheus 8's amazing. Oh, yeah. Now, that is invasive because we do use needles, radio mm -hmm. frequency, and heat to get those so treatments done. So we numb the heck out of you. So we numb you for a good hour. <laughs> yeah. So that's a treatment. Then you've got Evolve and Evoke. Yeah. Evolve is tightening. for the body. Yep. And skin tighten from the outside in, whereas Morpheus and 8 is from... And muscle development. Right. Morpheus 8 is from the inside out, but right. Evolve does the tightening of the muscle, too. It helps contract the muscle fibers mm -hmm. to help tighten everything and tone. Yeah, it tones it right. It zips yeah. it right up. And yeah. then the face one, the Evolve. Yeah. For the really, chin yeah. and, and the neck. And so yeah. it really helps with the cheeks. Yeah. Like, you know, slimming that up. Yeah. And then also, yeah, the double chin, which yeah. now we also have Kybella. So Kybella is another option. Yep, Kybella is another option. Um, so, you know, the nurse will be able to talk you through that. Yeah. What's going to be the best treatment for sure. you, the most cost effective and the best for yep. what you're looking for. Because Kybella is great for the young. 
It's not so good for the older people because it doesn't tighten the skin. Right. So Morpheus 8 would be a better treatment for somebody older because yep. that actually dissolves fat and, and tightens tighten skin. skin. Yeah. Versus Kybella just dissolves fat and right. then you've got loose skin if you don't have, you know, I young know. people, their skin will tighten back up. But right. if you're of age, you're not going to have that. Yeah. And so you would, you know, we would go over all of that with you. Of course. And I think one mm -hmm. of the common questions I get is, well, how long does it last? Like, well, it's permanent. Like, it's you're permanent, killing the fat cell. But you're still aging. You're still aging. And, and if you think about it, we can never get all the fat cells, right? There's so many fat cells. You're born with those. There are so many there. We get what we can yep. until we get, to, we get to the look. But what happens is if you gain weight... Those, cells Those bigger, fat cells that are remaining are going to get plumper. So wow. you are going to gain weight, and then you'll see plumping. But the, but Kybella destroys the fat cells. Yeah. And so does Morpheus 8. So yep. the ones that we destroy are gone. They're gone so what for about good. Evoke? Does that destroy the fat cell too? Um, it can, but it, you have to hit a certain temperature for that to happen. Sure. And so it's hard to get to that temperature from the outside. But mm -hmm. in theory, it is supposed to be able to do that when you get there at 43 Celsius. Sure. 43 yep. degrees Celsius. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, and that's what temperature we strive for. Some people yeah. can't get there, though. And it's not going to burn you. That's no. the other thing. We're not burning no, we're anybody. Not burning. It doesn't burn itself. It self-regulates. But those devices are fantastic. They yeah. work. And I think between all the things, wow, because we're, we're walking testaments. Yes. I mean, we've been doing this over seven years. I'm sorry, but we look pretty I mean, darn good. I, I, I <laughs> feel like if I wanted to, if I really had the time, you know, I'm working here and I'm busy with things, running the clinic, you know yes, how it is. Yes. There's, it leaves little time to do these things some of the treatments on your own for self, my own right. self. Exactly. So I need, I would be, if if I could have the time to do these things, I think I could take another 10 years off of me. Yeah. Yeah. It's, be, it's I unreal. Just, yeah. Just finding the time to get the treatments mm -hmm. done and, and things is, is difficult. And I understand it's difficult for other people too. Yes. Yes. But we do, we do come up with a plan. Yeah. So when you come to our med spa, I'd say the best advice is like, ask, ask your provider, okay, what do you think? What what would be the best option? And just, and don't take anything personally. It's no. just, just hear them out of what they're seeing. Right. Be very interested because they'll be able to tell you how the world views you. Right. Versus what you're seeing in the mirror. Yes. They'll really say the I've truth had, of had, what's going on. I've had clients that come in that have, I see all kinds of things that I would issues correct. And stuff. Issues that I could mm -hmm. help them with, but that's not what they want. They're yeah. only concerned about one little, little thing, thing yeah. on the scar on their chin or, and you know, so that's what they're looking at, but they don't realize that other people are looking at that the differently. The whole person. Yeah. yeah the whole and person, so, yeah. but that's okay yeah. too. If you're that's okay true. with that, that's fine. That's fine. But if you want it corrected, I can give you the yeah, tools to do that. If you want to, to know that. the truth and what, yeah. what's possible, what's why possible? not? Exactly. Ask the question, be open to it, take notes, I'll give you pricing, a yes. plan, and you can work it out over the next year or two yes. years or you can do it all at once that's right that's right. that simple it's that yep. simple and we have all the things that you're at our fingertips to help you yes achieve and whatever it is you're looking to have and the biggest thing is get the skin care oh my god and oh my it gosh. lasts a long time and it's yes it's a good investment and you will we have a 21 day skin challenge yes and anything you take a picture of yourself before you start using it 21 days later you will look amazing We've had clients that have come in here and their skin needs help. It's very, very, um, it, it's congested. It's, it just looks dry. It looks like it, it's mm -hmm. just, it's really suffering. And we get them on the skincare and the next time I see them, they look amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Because I their know. skin is going, thank you. Thank yes, you. They're hydrated. They got drinks of hydration. Yes. And they, and it's cleaned up and the bacteria is killed. Yes. And the bad bacteria. Yeah. It just, yeah. And all those little fine lines and wrinkles just go away. Their things are smooth. Their makeup goes on better. Right. You could tell. And I do believe that this year, I mean, this year has been a year for being very dehydrated. I even feel my own skin. Yeah. Is, and I use the best of the best. Yeah. And my yeah. own skin still is struggling. Is, so just struggling. imagine those that aren't using anything. I know. Exactly. You know? So, yeah. So we, you know, we really 
strive to make sure you get really good skincare. Yes. Get some Botox, get a little filler, like do the thing. Like you deserve it. Yes, it, you do. You know, yeah. you know, take care of yourself, look your best and feel good at every single age you are. Doesn't matter. Right. And, yeah. we're, and we're not trying to make you 20. No. You know, no. we're just trying to make you feel like you're rested, like you feel yeah. inside. Especially if you're going through something big like divorce or you're yeah. going to a big reunion, like or your child getting married, or you're getting married yourself. Like, this is the time. New job. Yeah, you know, new job. You're up against oh, all yes. those other people. And you, you know, we you know about the great resignation. Well, yeah, because the great resignation's over. There's a lot of people applying for jobs now. Yeah, A lot. There, it, it's interesting. I have a friend that um, they haven't gotten an application for almost 18 months. They have 260 applications that came in in the last month. Isn't that So that crazy? just tells you there's a shift. Yeah. That people are starting to, so you got to look your best and you got to get yourself out you're in up front against a, against a lot of people. people. Your competition's yeah. fierce now. Yeah. So we're in a different time and yeah, a different year. Yeah. Yes. So. so any last words for our new med spa attendees or people that are coming in? and Don't be afraid to ask a question. No question is mm. stupid. And I have to say, I didn't know any of the answers to this before I opened this med spa. I've learned so much. And I never had any treatments until we opened this med spa. So I would have had the same questions that all of you are going to have. Yeah, so, so no, I, one, no, no questions of stupid no, question or a dumb question, no, right? Nope. And if I educate you, now you know. So you can educate somebody else. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I really hope this supports your, you all and, and to our listeners and our clients even. Yeah. Especially when you're referring friends and family. Yes. You're like, okay, this is what you're going to expect. But yeah, yeah, if they come in with... with you know, uh, an open mind and willing to listen and realize like, oh, maybe, you know, they, they're thinking they're all going to get baby Botox, like you said. And like, really, they need a full, yeah, they need a full <laughs> treatment of yeah, Botox. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, okay. they do. Okay. Well, well this great. was great. Yes. Thank, Thank you, you guys. Out. I hope to see you at the Botox Bar. You can book right on our website, B-E-A-U-T-O-X, B-A-R.com, or chat with us live on our website as well. Thanks so Thank much for you. listening.